All right. Here we go. Quick video. Uh, resonance soundboard. Want a free soundboard? Do your own sounds. You're acting like a damn fool. And you've got to give him credit for having a go at this. Isn't that cool? So, totally make your own sounds. Uh, it's totally free. It's pretty awesome. Uh, only a little bit of configuring to do. So, yeah, get into it. Head over to the website, resonance.com. Uh, get your download. Once you've got your download, folder up. There we go. And where is it? There it is. Resonance. Double click. Open that one up. It'll install the package with the uh, VB virtual cable. Uh, yeah, there's a virtual cable driver with it. Need that. Everything installed with it. Follow the instructions. All good. Once you've done that, it'll open up and then you'll come to your uh, dashboard page. So, a couple of things to sort out on here. Uh, you need to enable in the middle this button. You'll hear a, a sound that'll tell you it's enabled. Then you need to enable your whatever you're going to listen through or use. So definitely have the VB cable, virtual cable um, enabled. That's the main thing to do. It connected up to uh, Discord, and I'm using my headset. That's all good. So configuration. So to get it to work properly, next step is to go down to your sound settings. Right click on your sound, go sounds, open her up, uh, we'll go to recording. Now I'm using my headset, my Razer Naris, so uh, for chatting, and that's what I'll use when I game and I'll be in Discord, so that's my main thing that I'll use. So I'm going to go to that, go to properties, I'm going to go to listen, that's, this is for the microphone, uh, listen to this device, check that box. Play back through this device, pick the VB virtual cable. Uh, that being done, click OK. Go back, scroll down, we'll find the cable output, which is the VB virtual cable, and we'll select that as the default device. So you right click on it and set as default communication device. You can see here it's already selected there and running. So those two things will get you into your Discord and get you hooked up. And once you've got all that set up, uh, it should be working. So there's two ways to get your sounds on there. Basically, on the main board here, you can click Add. Click Add. All my rude ones up the top. But uh, just for the sake of it, we just pick one of these and it adds it. There you go, You've added, fill in the flow. And while we're doing this, if you want, you can configure a hotkey for it. So this is where you configure all your hotkeys. Uh, basically, if you want to use the space bar, I highlight that, go space. We'll go save and now doing the bull dance feeling the flow Work yeah feeling the flow all right so that's that's done i'm not going to use that because when i start typing it's going to uh wig out every time i press the space bar it'll activate it so that being said that's all done um the second way the way i like to do it too is configuring your Buttons, go over and click this here. This will just to show you, get rid of that from start. We'll just say over here, click this. This is your pad that'll bring up the pad. This is where you configure all the fun. So we'll start with the settings up the top and how many keys you want to put into it. Click on the cog, take you up to the columns and rows to give you the amount of uh, buttons <coughs> that you've got. Um, that's pretty cool, and then you can. Figure, yeah, orders, all that type of stuff. Resize me, and then we save. That's that settings giving me these configurations here, which has given me tons of buttons to play with. And it's just a matter of right-clicking on a button, 
we go add so let's just add that one there you go we've added a file to it an mp3 and you can name the button whatever you want name it there it is you're acting like a damn fool uh it's that easy so the way i do it too is start up audacity and bring it in so basically now if you want to add something um let's go and just configure audacity i won't go into everything about audacity but this is how i do it uh so input microphone so uh, just start recording um there it is it's recording my voice stop basically here yeah, we can play around with it but uh we export that file mp3 uh, i'm just going to put it in the downloads and go call it talk and another that's here another little pop up but enter or okay that's all done so you can put that off now see you later so we'll go back to here this button button you want we'll go add let's go back there's talk double click save and recording um there it is it's recording my voice there you go so i've just put a web file in there i mean uh, yeah an mp3 I've used web files for other other programs but yeah so yeah you can get all your favorite stuff off uh yeah youtube like yeah just go to your videos yeah, peter griffin get whatever you want and bung it on there so now uh, the last step is 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 just configure both of these together so i've got a separate um hand pad with numbers on it or you might have uh yeah another separate keypad that you can use as a soundboard so you can use the keys for it so basically i just went through and started doing them so bird 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 is the word um yeah just went to add and selected the file opened it and do that again and then once you've done it you highlight it come down here highlight that get rid of it and then you press any key and it's now highlighted saved same as i showed you before but uh yeah and, and then you can go through and assign these as i've got on the on the number pad keyboard separate so which is really cool because they'll just go and hit a button and away it goes uh pretty cool so that's it it's easy it's free um yeah it works so if you want a basic soundboard resonance check it out uh that's pretty much it yeah thanks for watching now